Hey guys, this is Dr. Chris Collier at Elite Chiropractic Performance. We're going to go over some nerve flossing techniques uh, with our condition of the month being the elbow. I figured, you know, one of the big things that we find when patients come in with tingling in their hands or in their arm or somewhere around the wrist is that they always think it's carpal tunnel syndrome, whereas I'd say most of the time that's not the case. So, uh, you know, a little anatomy thing here is we have three main nerves that start, they come out of the neck and they traverse the arm and supply a lot of the muscles in our, you know, bicep, forearm, you know, this whole region. Uh, the median nerve, the ulnar nerve, and the radial nerve. So each nerve can get trapped or entrapped at different sites all the way up to, to the neck. So whenever we're starting to have stuff into our hands, we have to A, identify what nerve is involved, and B, where is that nerve uh, entrapped at. And so, you know, we can have this in the neck where it could be a disc issue or something of the like. We can have thoracic outlet syndrome, which is, you know, a bunch of, you know, nerves and, and arteries and different things that kind of go under the collarbone here. That can have some issues. Or we can have a true peripheral nerve entrapment. So, carpal tunnel is just one site for the median nerve to get trapped. So just because you have stuff in your hands doesn't mean it's coming from the carpal tunnel. So with the elbow being our topic, we have two other conditions that are similar, but you know, in a different in nature. Your cubital tunnel syndrome and your radial tunnel syndrome. Cubital tunnel syndrome involves your ulnar nerve, which tends to affect these two fingers. It's often thought of as the funny bone. So when you tap it, it starts to send some zingers down. The radial nerve, is more of kind of what works around the thumb. So it depends on what your symptoms are, but some of the areas that could be involved are the tunnels through here. So with nerve flossing, it's just we're taking the nerve structure all the way from here down and we're just gliding it back and forth in between its structures. So for a median nerve nerve floss, we use the hand in this fashion. So we start from here and I bring it all the way back and then I bring my wrist in extension. Now, for a true floss, we usually bend the head towards where your arm's going, so it looks like this. Now, you'll notice if you do this and then bend the head away, it intensifies it, I think, almost too much. Nerves are very sensitive. You don't want to piss them off, okay? So we're here like this, okay? So this is a median nerve floss. So I might have the patient do maybe sets of 10 a couple times a day, okay? For the ulnar nerve, this one's a little goofy, kind of looks like an Egyptian dance of, of some sort. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. So you can take uh, kind of the AOK -okay sign here and you can start to here and then go like this, back and forth. And you'll feel this pull kind of all through the inner aspect of the arm. Or you can do it more of this fashion where again, head away towards like this. So I'm keeping my arm up, it's all bent at the wrist. So here's where I feel the tension, here's where it kind of comes off. You can reverse the head movements at times to see how that works, but at the very least, you should feel this gentle stretch through here. The radial nerve, uh, nerve tension is, is kind of what we call the waiter sign. So it's just here and then we're reaching back like this. So I'm reaching back and then bending the wrist. And again, I can add head movements with this. So I feel this more through here. So if you're feeling stuff into your hands, you can try these nerve flossing techniques to see if that helps your symptoms. Most of the time you need to go to a professional so that we can actually figure out where it's coming from. And we can do that with just simple examination techniques. Once we find the exact, whether it's the nerve, once we find that and then where it's entrapped, which muscles are involved, then treatment's pretty easy. But sometimes we're playing a guessing game where we're, we're, we're working on an area and then we're seeing what the symptoms are. Do they get better? Okay, then we continue. Or we have to, you know, it's trial and error. Maybe we'll move up and down the chain. And there's not, a, you know, it's not uncommon to have a, a, a trapment, whether it's in the elbow, carpal tunnel, wherever, and then also have issues up here. So we're always looking above and below. So these are just some simple nerve flossing techniques to help, whether you have symptoms in your hand or arm or whatever the like. Uh, give these a try, see how they do. If you have any questions, let us know. If not, we'll see you on the next video.